Hey, hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Now, do you know what I mean when I ask you to test the significance of a regression or test the significance of beta 1 and beta 2 or test the significance of an individual a parameter? See, it gets quite confusing with this word significance because there are various types. So it's something we do once we've run a regression model. It's a question that we ask naturally. And I did think of doing this video for various types of econometrics and statistical packages like SPSS, R, EView, Stata, but I thought just making this one video because it applies to whatever package you're using or whether you're using, doing it by paper and pen. So once you've estimated the model, you invariably ask the question or the examiner asks you a question test the joint significance of the model or test the overall significance of the regression. Both of these mean the same thing. So let's go through the types of um, questions involving test the significance of. So first we have something called test the joint significance or overall significance of a regression or model. It means the same thing. Since it's a test we need to know what the null is. The word joint means like together, so you're considering more than one thing. The null is that all, I'm illustrating with this example of the regression model here where you've got um, three explanatory variables. Joint significance of the regression means that you want to test that all, all the partial slope parameters are zero. In other words, all the coefficients on the x's are zero. Not, we're not interested in the intercept. Now, why would this be an interesting question? It's an interesting question because supposing that the null is true, then what can we say about the relationship between the x's and the y's? Okay, hundred usually over, usually students will be able to ask this straight away. It means that there is no relationship between x and y. So, is the model then useful to explain y in terms of x's? These x's? No. In other words, what can we say about your model to explain why? It's a load of rubbish. So if we don't reject the null, it means your model is rubbish. You can improve upon it. Pardon the informal language. OK, another type of significance. Testing a subset of regresses of the x's. You might get a question that says, test the joint significance of, say, beta 1 and beta 2. What does that mean? It means that test that they're both 0 versus the alternative that the null is not true. That means at least 1 isn't 0. 1 beta i isn't 0 for i equals 1 and 2. Uh, incidentally, that's the same for here as well. I should have said that the alternative is that is alternative is always opposite to this one. So op, it's uh, that the null not true. Null not true. And then finally, well, I say finally, but it's off the top of my head. I think there is one. There's one definitely most common one. Is testing the individual significance. Right, so individual significance of some parameter, beta i or something like that. Well, what that means is that we're testing the null that uh, one individual parameter, say beta i, is zero versus the alternative that it's not zero. So you've got the words now. Joint or overall significance of the regression means you're testing that none of the x's help to explain why testing the subset, testing the joint significance of a few of them, you just write it like this, testing the individual significance, you're just testing one. So all sum one. And the word significance here, notice each time the null is that they're all that they're zero. The parameter in question or parameters in question is zero. Again, to interpret why that is an important question, for overall significance, if the null is true, it means that your model is rubbish. If uh, if um, some of them are zero, it means that the block of them is no good to predict why. 
this could be a common could be used like if you've got a set of dummy variables for example ethnicity so ethnicity impact blah 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 test it as a set um, day of the week effect in um, um, stock returns uh, do the, do the uh, dummies for that uh, equal to zero are they jointly significant and so on finally individual significant we're just looking at one individual coefficient is the explanatory variable for that significant uh, help to predict why so all of them are zeros of course we can have tests which um, test that they're equal to some other value but then we don't use the word um, significance significance then is kind of reserved by default is when the uh, null is that the coefficient or coefficients zero alright so uh, bear these in mind when you're watching my videos on the econometrics and statistical packages alright take care